I'm Matt from Severn UK and I'm here to show you how to assemble your Red Wing windsurf foil. I have done another video talking through the features and additional components you can get for this, so make sure to check that out first if you haven't already. So the performance of this foil is top level. The design and the quality that's gone into it is amazing. It's easy to use and it's easy to set up too. In front of me, I've got a brand new Red Wing foil that I'm gonna unbox and set up for you. So let's get started. So firstly, you'll see that it all comes in component form, all in its covers, the strap together. Let's move that and see what we're working with. So firstly, I'm just gonna separate the components. So firstly, we've got the 350 tail wing. Fourteen hundred front wing, in here, ninety five fuselage. Deep total head. 90 centimeter mast and in the front pocket the tool to assemble it and the bolts pack so as i said the wings are carbon the other components are all aluminium first thing i'm going to do i need two of these long bolts and i'm going to connect the deep total head to the top of the mast by just lining up the spigot into the top of the mast there. Then I'm gonna drop these two bolts into the lower holes and tighten that up. You can leave the deep total head attached to the mast unless you are planning on swapping masts. Most people keep the same 90, but just remember to Tef gel those bolts so that if you do need to change it, you can undo those bolts later down the line. I'm just gonna put the mast to one side while I now put the wings onto the fuselage. So starting with the front wing, I'm gonna turn the fuselage upside down, the wing upside down, align the three countersunk holes in with the holes on the fuselage. I then need three of the short bolts and I'm just gonna drop these in and tighten them up hand tight. Flip that back over and move on to the tail wing. The last two short bolts. So I'm just going to line that up there facing forwards, the countersunk holes on top, drop the bolts in and tighten those up hand tight. Now I'm going to go back to the mast, flip the mast upside down with the thicker end facing forwards. I'm going to line up the spigot on the fuselage, drop that down into the hole there. And with the last two long bolts that don't have the washer on, drop those in. Again, just tighten those up hand tight.
Now that's the foil assembled. I'm going to get the covers back. Because if I'm not going on the water straight away, I can then protect the wings by using the covers individually to put over the parts like so. That's now ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to attach your foil to your board. So with the Severnian 125 that I've got behind me, I'm now going to put this set up together. The first thing I'm going to do is lay the board down, deck side down. It's best to do this on grass or a soft area, like on top of your board bag, so that you don't damage the nose of the board or the wings on your foil. And I'm going to get the foil. Line up the deep tuttle head with the hole in the board. Slide it in like that. Now, you can put the cover over the front wing just to protect it while it's on the ground. Don't forget to take it off before you go on the water. I'm now gonna flip the setup right way up, making sure that I keep the foil pressed into the board. With the bolt, with the red washers on the top, I'm just gonna drop these in and tighten them up. They're hand tight. That setup is now ready to go on the water. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe our channel so that you don't miss out on any content coming for soon. For more information on the Red Wing foil, I'll put a link in the description below to my other video, also to Severn's website and the link to find out where to buy one from. If you've got any questions, please get in touch via the comments below. Thanks for watching.